Welcome to PACEIT's Career and Entrepreneurship Presentations. My name is Mary Keeney and this presentation covers LinkedIn profiles. Today we'll, we will discuss what is LinkedIn, how do you create an account, a profile, how to request endorse, endorsements, and how to connect with people. LinkedIn is the largest network of professionals. It has over 300 million users from over 200 countries and it is a great tool for both employers and job seekers to find talent and jobs respectively. Because the profile is visible to people with whom you worked before or work now, there's little embellishment of what you claim as your skills and work experiences. You want to make sure that when you do create your profile, you're being honest because the people who you've worked with will see it and they can call you out and that would be bad. The first thing recruiters look at is your social presence. LinkedIn is a great filter. Recruiters also perform searches for specific skills so you can easily pop up in their searches if you build your profile correctly. There are various options available. There is a free account which is the most often used. It allows you to create a profile and connect with people, do job searches, join different groups, read LinkedIn news, check out profiles of people and companies. The premium account allows you to see more information about jobs and people and to request introductions to other people outside of your network. The job seekers option lets employers know that you are looking for a new job. It also comes with additional tools to help you find a job. There is an option for sales professionals to help them find potential clients and one for recruiters to find candidates. Start with a free account and see if you need to or want to upgrade to a premium account or a job seeker account later. It's very easy to create an account and your profile. First go with a basic account. It's free. You can follow the instructions and be up and running in no time. Take your time to write the summary and the work experience. If you already have a resume, it will be very easy to include your work experience because you can just work from your resume and upload it and then tweak it. Read uh, different articles on LinkedIn to learn about what makes a great profile. You will also see how others created their profile, what they're emphasizing, and what you might want to include in yours. If you click on the screen, you will have access to step-by-step -step instructions on how to create your LinkedIn account. After you have created your account, you can request endorsements. Don't be shy. If you know someone, if you've worked with, a, if you have a coworker or a previous or current boss, ask for their endorsement. You can build your credibility this way. You also want to make connections. Connect with connecting with people is simple. Uh, if you know the names of people you want to connect with, say your coworkers, you can type them in, do a search, and then choose to connect with them. You can also search for people in your same industry or someone who you want to follow because they have a lot of good posts or someone you want to connect with for future job uh, possibilities. One more way you could find connections is through your current connections. So you can go into a coworker's profile and see who they're connected with. The whole purpose of LinkedIn is to connect with people and network. So here are some tips. So, uh, when you set up your accounts, you can put different settings in. You should not require people to know your email address in order to connect with you. That will prevent people you maybe don't know or coworkers who don't know what email address you're using from seeing your profile. Don't spam people. Don't send them a whole bunch of messages. Send one message when you want to connect with someone that has a specified, a very specific message to them. I want to connect with you because whatever your reason is. Also, don't send a request immediately after sending a request. You want to make sure you do your intro and only send one request at a time. Sometimes people don't log into their accounts immediately or every day, so you want to give them time to respond to you. And remember, not everyone is going to accept your requests. So we've covered what is LinkedIn, how to create an account and a profile, how to request endorsements, and how to connect with people. I hope you've enjoyed this presentation and thank you for watching our video.